Joining me now is Deborah Markowitz, the festival founder and director. She's been on the show before. You know, you, you know her. You love her. Deborah, 25 years. My God. How does that feel to be here tonight? Um, exhausting. <laughs> I mean, it's exciting because to be able to last this long through all the changes we've gone through and just, you know, meet more people and have it get bigger, it's just uh, really pretty awesome. So it's exciting to be here, but it seems like even more work for some reason. Yeah, well, I, I find the older I get, the harder, the harder well, things feel. <laughs> That's part of it. We did bring in some new partners, and it's very helpful, but we also added about 10 panels, where we usually do six, and everything is a lot of work, so. So give me, like, some highlights. What's going on? I know you've got awards here tonight. Talk to me. Give me some highlights of the festival, uh, panels, etc. Give me the whole nine. Sure. Well, one of the, the really fun panels we had was the Better Festing panel, and we had directors here from the Fort Myers Beach International Film Festival, the Chain Film Festival, and the Yofi Fest, the Yonkers Film Festival, and the the Shauna Shea Film Festival from Massachusetts and we had such a great time and the room was packed and people were asking how do we get in how do we you know and they were offering some were offering discount codes and at the end of it they all looked at it and said we are all stealing this idea because this is great and um, we all do borrow from each other as a filmmaker I'll go to another film festival and go I want to do that next time so lots of war stories too I imagine oh so many so many war stories what's the craziest thing that happened and we went through that um, our screen writing panel is always also booked um, because people want to learn in and out of business from people who do this for a living. So that was great. Our filmmaker breakfast, uh, we usually have about six or seven uh, filmmakers on it, and they talk about their war stories, and that's always a lot of fun. Uh, there so many, and, and, and tonight's exciting for us because we have um, Catherine Curtin from Stranger Things, and Orange is the, is the New Black. She is going to be getting a um, Excellence in Creative Achievement Award. We have Greg Sergal from um, CBS, I believe it is, Channel 4, and he is getting a Excellence in Newscasting Award. Award. Uh, Lucas Hassel from Blacklist is one of our presenters, uh, as well as Sal Rendino from Billions, and uh, Tara Westwood, uh, who was in the, uh, the Grudge, is here to be a presenter. Uh, and then also, uh, one of our alumni was supposed to be here tonight, uh, Jeff Waxman, who was the executive producer of uh, Don't Look Up and John Wick 2 and 3, and he called me the other day, he said, we got back from the UK in time, but now he had to go to Bayonne, New Jersey, to shoot another scene, he goes, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do it. I said, send us a video. But he had a film with us like 20 years ago, and uh, it was really, and then he would come and talk to our filmmakers, and, you know, he was very cool. So we're going to miss him, but it was good that, you know, he was here. And, in fact, coming in right now is Chad Coleman from, uh, from everything, The Expanse. He's in the Oroville. He's in whatever. So uh, he's one of our presenters, and that's going to be awesome. You guys have got... Um all these people, they seem like it's like a family, there's a lot of alumni. How do you build that sense of community here? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, it started off with Ann and Henry Stanfell, who own the theater, and they've been with us since the beginning, and it took us a long time to find uh, Lindsay and Manny Serrano to come in and, and bring some new flavor to the festival, as you will. We're just all really committed. None of us get paid, so we're here because we love it. And I'm also a casting director, so I cast for my own movies, but I also sometimes will cast for other people, so I know a lot of people through that, and they're they love to come out and hang out together and in fact some of the presenters here Sal and Lucas uh, Sal uh, Rendino and Lucas Hassel are in my series couple of guys and Kevin Brown who's gonna be our host he's also in couple of guys and you know so I usually bring the people I work with around and, and they have a good time so you mentioned because um, you were on the show previously you mentioned couple of guys mm -hmm. I think you said on the show if I'm remembering that you were working on something new do you have anything that's uh, coming up that you're going to be working on? Yeah, always. Um, right now, I have two films in post, but I also have a film in August. Uh, it's a one-day shoot called One Last Time, uh, starring Eddie McGee um, and uh, some other people, but he's the, the name. And um, then we have a film called The Prof, which I will be directing a couple of days after that. And that's a you know another short film that I'm doing for another producer. So I'm pretty excited about that. So there's always whatever, and I want to get back to my writing, but... Keep making films, you know. <laughs> when do you sleep? I don't sleep enough. That, that's kind of it. I don't sleep enough. But my, my project, my, my, my love project right now is a couple of guys, which is my LGBTQ uh, TV series. And I have three episodes done, and it's a 10-episode limited series. So now we're looking for funding or a producer to come in to be able to finish it. Well, I hope you find that because um, you had a great cast, and it's a, it seems like it's an educated. Um, I remember when I talked to Lucas about it when he was on the show. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's really educated and authentic, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we need more shows like that. Um, 
But for people who want to know more about you, about the fest, where can they find you guys online? Okay, well, about me in particular, they can go to my website, which is intentionfilmsandmedia.com. Uh, my Instagram is at Deborah Markowitz Film, D E B R A. Facebook is Deborah Markowitz, writer director. Uh, and as far as the film festival, they can go to longislandfilm.com, and uh, everything is, is on that page. Our Facebook is Long Island Film, and our Instagram is Long Island Film. Film Expo, and they can find out everything that's going on. Our Scared for Your Life Little Horror Fest is still accepting submissions, and that I believe that's going to be um, either October 31st or early in November. And uh, we open for submissions for life um, probably second week in October. Wow, very cool. So. Congratulations, 25 years. What is that, like a silver anniversary? It really is. Yeah, we should like, have made everything silver. Yeah, that's like, uh, you know, because uh, you're probably more married to this festival than anything Pretty much. Else. Pretty much. <laughs> but congratulations on the fest. I wish you a lot of luck Thank with it. Thank you so much. Deborah Markowitz. Mm -hmm.